writer, and I'm so happy to be doing online shows again. A lot of people thought I was done with this nonsense a little while ago, but surprise, I'm back. And I'm just getting started. So, get ready, because we have resurrected Worst Week Ever, our take on VH1's old show, Best Week Ever. Except we don't have the budget to be ironic, so this is what you get. First up, I wanted to tell you about a recent trend I was noticing on uh, the television talk shows, for some odd reason, forcing guests to exercise during the show. What? I don't know. Well, let's take a look. <laughs> you had to become an action star, and you're not painted very well. You know that. People are I saying know, things. I know, I know. What was different between, uh, between back then and now? All right, I guess that makes sense. I mean, some of these shows are so boring, the hosts and the guests need to do something to keep themselves awake. <laughs> but my question is, why aren't the celebrities who actually need the exercise being forced to do this? I mean, Al Roker and Kirstie Alley should be the ones on treadmills. <laughs> uh, actually, let's, speaking of Al Roker, let's check in with the Today Show weatherman right now. Dan and I are all going to try things that we've never had the guts to do before. Interesting. You hear that? Al Roker is going to do something that he's never had the guts to do before. That means limit himself to only one box of Twinkies per week. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, uh, maybe not. Let's let's find out what he actually wants to do. I, uh, I actually did it yesterday. Uh, I climbed up onto the cabling well, that, that holds up the bridge, the George Washington Bridge roadway, okay, and I crazy. went to the top of the tower. To now look at this. Like I thought guys. mine was high. Nice yeah. people. Interesting. Okay, in other morning show news, uh-oh, hold on, wait just a minute, there is breaking news at the scene of the bridge where Al Roker is climbing. Let's go to that scene right now. Oh, oh. oh so <laughs> tragic. Well, it seems Good Morning America wanted to do something that they haven't done before either, and that's allow an X-rated interview question to the cast of the Jersey Shore. Let's take a look at that. Hi, um, this is to Mike. I want to ask if I could touch your situation. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, if you think talk of a little situation, <laughs> which is probably an accurate description because I think steroids has that effect, or so I'm told, <laughs> uh, if you think that's inappropriate for morning television, then you ain't seen nothing yet, kids, because we have a face-off between two sexually deprived hosts who are getting very awkward on morning television. It's Kathy Lee Gifford, the host of the Today Show Fourth Hour, and Billy Bush, who hosts an Access Hollywood daytime show. I didn't even realize that existed, but it does, apparently. And the two of them, between their words and their actions, suggests that both of them should probably get a room. Adult <laughs> toys, and you know what we're talking about. I wouldn't know one if it slapped me in the face. Okay. <laughs> You know, Dr. Russ, how many times are you and the wife? Oh, belly, would you belly. Say, no, no, he's a doctor. He'll tell us. What'd you say? Are you yourself, sir? Three times. A week. Three times? That's, That's good. not it. That's oh. Okay. No, you can't. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh yeah. I'm telling you. Should I know. Anyway. Tough call. Before we crown a winner, is there any other morning show personality who? wants to throw their hat in the ring for this race of uh, who's the most awkward sexual person in the morning? I'm gonna basically play strip poker. Thanks for playing, <laughs> Ann Curry from the Today Show. I guess that means we'll have to wait to announce our winner. In other news, as I mentioned earlier, Worst Week Ever has two entertainment correspondents, one on the East Coast, one on the West Coast. It's DZ in New York and DK in LA. So let's check in with both of them. Diana's up first. DZ, how are you? A lot of big things happened this week. One thing was Macaulay Culkin and Mila Kunis called it quits after eight long years together. Oh no. Oh yes. A lot of people were saying that she was too good for him, her career was rising, he was out of his league. I don't really think so. The guy is Kevin McAllister. He's a legend. Well tell us, DZ, what has been the reaction to this? Well, I hear guys left and right saying, oh, here's my big chance, now's my chance with Mila. Here's a message to you guys. No matter who you are, you have no chance. <laughs> what? Speak for yourself. I plan on leaving Mila many messages, and she will not be able to resist the Schneider factor. Oh, no, she won't. Okay, well, the other big thing this week, the People's Choice Awards. Huh. 
Mm -hmm. Awards were given to Kristen Stewart of Twilight for Favorite Movie Actress. William Shatner's Shit My Dad Says for Favorite New Television Comedy. And to Adam Sandler's Grown Ups for Favorite Comedy Movie. What? Those winners sound like they should be at the Blind People's Choice Awards. <laughs> oh, I know. See, usually I am pro-choice, but after seeing the People's Choice, I might have to be pro-life. <laughs> Are you sure about that, DZ? Without all your options on the table, you might have to alter your social life. Speak for yourself. Okay, now let's go out to California, where DK is patiently standing by. DK, take it away. What's up, viewers? Welcome to the... To the, um... The name of the show is Worst Week Ever. Oh, right! That's right, okay, so... Welcome to the show, Enya. My name is David. I am your correspondent from California. Uh, but anyhow, thanks for tuning in. Um, we'll be reporting on awesome things like uh, like how Britney Spears died this morning. I'm, I'm kidding about that one. But anyhow, stuff like that. Like So, stay tuned, tell all your friends, and we will get back to you when? When's our next showing? We have to make way for some other shows coming in the future, so most likely this is going to be an every other week show. So we'll get two weeks worth of comedy gold in. So be sure to tune in with us and get your scoop on everything else. Thanks! And now coming up, it's me and Dixon going head to head for a rapid recap of the top three stories of the week. So stay tuned for that and be sure to check out all past episodes and more information at weeklyshowtv.com. That's where you're going to find tons of nonsense and crap. Uh, so stay tuned and tell us what you want to see on future episodes. Thank you for watching. So long, everyone. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Rapid Recap. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Rapid Recap 2. Right. You don't have to repeat everything in Rapid Recap. You just have to say hello to the folks and Dixon. Hello. Hi. Dixon and you, everyone. Hello. You miss me? No. Okay. Alright, so on Rapid Recap, we have three hot topics where we talk about three hot things that happened this past week. Okay. So we got no time to waste, so let's get right to it. Number one is the uh, birds dropping from the sky in mass numbers, people wondering if it's the apocalypse. Dixon, what was your thoughts? What was your prediction as to why it happened or your theory? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking God is sending us a message. Stop eating a lot of birds. That makes no sense, which is why I think the actual reason is totally irrelevant and people should stop trying to figure out the rationale behind certain things. Okay. Something just happened in life and you should move on. Not everything needs an explanation. You should just be happy. Go back to your normal lives. Birds drop from the sky and are dead. Yes, it's unfortunate, but don't theorize about total apocalypses and nonsense. Shit happens. Doesn't, yes. Doesn't that happen to you, Dixon? Um, not really. No? Nothing fl flies out of the sky? Uh, oh, yeah. panties fly out of the skies, you know, because I'm a good looking... What? Brother, you know what I'm saying? Okay. What's up, ladies? Fair Call enough. me. Alright, let's move on. Uh, the <laughs> next issue is Jersey Shore. Oh, Jersey Ravens. Shore. My favorite show, Jersey Shore, is back and is... Uh, oh, my God. Um, So, Snooky, Snooky's new roommate, D. What? Jay Wow. Uh, All right, you don't, uh, listen. Paulie D. Okay. People, you don't have to just rattle off the character's name. Situation. All right, we got yes, it. My got point it? with the Jersey Shore is yes. I know everything about this show, and I've never even seen one episode. So to me, yes, it's somewhat exciting that these what? random people became famous, but why do you actually have to watch the show to actually know, what, know what's going on about them? Is it really entertaining? It's very, very entertaining. What are you talking about? Like, yeah, I mean, I'd rather, I'd rather watch Jersey Shore than to watch... Um, Rapid recap? You're right. What? Or, or watch any other or watch any other channels? Like, uh, come on. Is Jersey Shore? Well, the I mean, come on. Tannin or Jim and what and what else? Laundry? Come on. You cannot beat that. You cannot beat. Oh, is it laundry, Tannin, and I don't know. I don't know. Well, this sounds like yeah. an extremely intelligent show. So no, it is very You're getting passion and enjoyment out of it, it? but it for the rest of us, which is probably a minority since the ratings are through the roof, yeah. I'm still a proud member of that minority who is not watching the show. Because so, you're a hater. I guess so. Final issue, homeless man with a golden voice. Homeless man with a golden voice. I don't know what we have to say about him. He could sing, he could dance, he can do the mamba, but 
My question is, do you think there are a lot of homeless people with some sort of secret hidden talent? I mean, I think there's a lot of homeless people with a lot of um, hidden talents, like... Is that your impression of a homeless person? I don't know what you're doing no, right not, now. No, not, but, you no? know, he, yeah, he's very lucky, you know, he's very, very lucky. My question is, do you think he's going to use his newfound fame and fortune to help any homeless people he met along the streets? Or maybe a pigeon who's a friend? I mean, I don't think he's going to use his uh, money to help out other homeless people. Because first of all, he needs to help out himself first. Very Get profound. Well, our time is running up, Dixon, so any final thought for our audience? Stay tuned for the next show. How about that? That was good. Well, that's all the time we have, so see you on Rapid Recap next week. See you.